is in winning the adoration of today's teens. NSYNC is in concert at the Ice Palace tomorrow. Just last week, we brought you an exclusive look at the life of Nick Carter. He's a local member of the Backstreet Boys, and we talked one-on-one -on -one with Nick, took you into his waterfront home in Tampa to give you a tour. A lot of fans couldn't see those stories because they aired at 11, so by popular demand, we're rebroadcasting them tonight and tomorrow night at 6. Here's a preview. Do you ever see a fan in the audience like can you pick out a face? Or is it more just the crowd? I can pick out faces. I mean, you know, there are fans, you know. You know, if you see somebody coming continuously, you're gonna recognize somebody. You know, and you know, that's to me, that's that's one of the best feelings in the world to be able to see, you know, your fans coming back and again and again and, and seeing that they're supporting you as much as they are. You know, I, to me I feel we got the best fans in the world. Tonight at 6, we'll bring you part one of the fan your kids or your grandchildren probably are. The Backstreet Boys have sold more than 54 million CDs worldwide. Nick Carter is the youngest member of the group. He was raised in Tampa, and he perfected many of his skills here. We originally aired this story last Thursday at 11 o'clock, but since then, we got so many calls, we decided to air it again, this time earlier at 6. 28 Tampa Bay's Linda Hurtado spent a day with this teen idol. All this over a 20-year-old Tampa man named Nick Carter. Oh my gosh. I'm like dying over this. What? I'm taking. What is that? It's his autograph. <laughs> Nick. Nick is a member of the Backstreet Boys, world famous, an honest to goodness teen idol. And he honed those skills where he grew up, right here in Tampa. A teacher at Miles Elementary School gave him a break, a starring role in the 1990 school play Phantom of the Opera. Nick was 10. She heard about me being in a lower grade and me singing, you know, and um, she auditioned me for the part, and she made, they made an exception for me to play the part. And really, from that point on, you know, I was just, I was stuck with singing and acting, so I do owe a lot of my credit to her. Ms. Montez Dioka held on to the video and mementos of her young pupil for all these years, because... He stood out. When we um, did the play, The Phantom of the Opera, he received a standing ovation. And uh, there were people crying in the audience, and we just couldn't believe the way his voice projected. St. Pete music teacher Mark Dye also had a brush with a young Nick. He was nine years old at the time. Um, blonde, cute as a button, freckled, you know, blue eyes. Not very big. Dye kept a wealth of videotape documenting Nick Carter's growth and his history in Tampa Bay. A spot for the St. Pete Library. We think of a theme we like. A performance at the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. And leaving our sacred premises. And performances at the Florida State Fair. <laughs> Ironically, Nick's thirst for musical theater may have been making him anything but. People looked at me kind of like an outsider. I was always doing different things like acting and and singing. Were you the popular guy in high school? You had Not at all. Actually, I was one of the, I was probably the only guy in school that couldn't get a girlfriend. So when did that start changing? When I got in the group. Nick moved to Orlando where he hooked up with a couple of young men also on the audition circuit and a talent manager looking to put together an all-boy band. Me and Howie and AJ had been involved in acting together and singing so we were like, we were gonna try it. You stand there and walk around the stage in the round, and the fans scream continuously for like 15, 20 minutes before you even sing. What is that feeling like? It's, kind of, it's overwhelming, I guess you can say. It's, it's kind of, you, know, you sometimes don't understand why they did it. Despite international fame, Nick Carter is still very much tied to Tampa. He owns a house here. He likes the food at Landry's. He's a big fan of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, this is Hardy. Yeah, Hardy. <laughs> we love him, though. In fact, you may often see him sporting a Bucks jersey. And he loves the water. His home on the bay is a piece of paradise he can retreat to when world-weary. There's things that have happened, influential things in my, in my life that have happened here in Tampa. 
I owe my heart to Tampa. I owe, I owe all my energy. In Tampa, Linda Hurtado, 28, Tampa Bay News. He's a pop superstar in one of the hottest bands that travels the world. But at the end of the tour, Nick Carter calls Tampa home. And last night, we showed you a young Nick performing around Tampa Bay. We don't know if he wanted that video shown, but tonight we're going to take you into his home and show you what life is like behind closed doors. 28 Tampa Bay's Linda Hurtado has the story you'll see only on 28. A view of Tampa Bay, white walls and wide open spaces, art sculptures and roommates named Mickey and Houston. Had the truth, thinking there's only some this is the paradise pop star Nick Carter is carving out for himself in Tampa. Welcome to the jungle. And it is a sharp contrast to this. <laughs> Nick Carter is a backstreet boy, a teen idol who spent the last seven years recording, touring, and posing. In his Tampa home, on vacation, Nick Carter seems relaxed, but music is never really far away. You tend to get addicted to music and you want to have it all around you, so, you know, that's basically what this is, you know, I'm setting up a little studio in my house, and so I can start, you know, writing music and being able to put it down immediately. So some of the future Backstreet Boys songs may come from this room? Yes, possibly, possibly. I mean, you know, that's what I'm doing, I mean, either that or for, for groups that I'm managing. Right now, Nick is just managing to move in. Slowly but surely becoming my place, you know. He's only owned the home Studios. for three months. Well, this one right here was, um, I think one of our first breakthroughs in the States. But he's already decided to decorate this room in platinum and gold, with plenty of room left for a painting by a fan. Nick says he spends most of his time in the TV room, loves video games and sports. On this day, he's preparing for a charity basketball game, and he's excited to be playing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Just don't get him warm. He's not playing. King is. Okay. Guess who else is? OK, you, did you see the list? Despite his fame and fortune, there are no accountants, publicists, or agents around, maybe a bodyguard and a few friends. Here, Nick Carter seems more average guy than pop superstar. But leave the safety of his gated paradise, and all that changes. <laughs> Nick is the only celebrity at the charity event who requires an escort. The girls are screaming for him. The event was advertised on radio, so teens showed up with cameras. One fan even ventured onto the basketball court in her excitement. A friend of Nick tells her kindly to back away. It's a tense situation at first. So why does he even do it? Nick is doing very well in life. He wanted to get back to the community. I mean, I'm just starting this whole charity thing. I, I haven't, I'm, you know, I'm 20 years old. I'm, and, you know, I'm just starting it off. The game ends. A pretty blonde, hoping to get a picture, waits in line. Suddenly, the crowd parts, and there he is. She snaps the photo, and just in time, another girl in security push her away. Nick is escorted out the back door into a waiting car, girls filing in line behind him as he's whisked away, back to his peaceful paradise, hidden on the coast of Tampa Bay. In Tampa, Linda Hurtado, 28, Tampa Bay News. Nick Carter is also involved in a number of charities in the community. Right now, he's auctioning off signed sections of his sectional couch to raise money for Tampa's Children's Hospital. If you'd like to make a bid on that, log on to TampaBayLive.com. We'll link you to the auction site. Uh, they'll, they'll sell those uh, couches, yes, I guarantee they you.